Round robin play for the Illinois West Cup is heating up. Wabonzi enters play one and one in the postseason and faces a tall task against top-seeded Glenbard, who has lost only three conference games. Scoreless five minutes into this one, Andrew McCoy walks into the zone and hits Ben Schubert. Nobody steps up on the senior and he goes top shelf on Ian Moran to open the scoring. A few minutes later, Matthew Nowinski is knocked off the puck, but Christian Comer picks it up and centers for Enrico Caruso, who beats Alex Lee, nodding the score at one. Midway through the period, it's the Warriors on a power play. Zach Stobart snaps one five hole on Ian Moran. Dub V takes a 2-1 lead into the second period. Glenbard responds just over a minute into the second. Matthew Nowinski's shot from beyond the blue line squeaks past Alex Lee to tie this game at two. The back and forth continues throughout the second. Wabonzi responds. Nolan Cummings' shot is tipped in by Zach Pierce for his 29th goal in conference play, and it's 3-2 Warriors. And right on cue, Glenbard responds just 32 seconds later. Comer fights off a check and has a shot initially saved, but the rebound finds the net off the stick of Nowinski, and we're tied at three. It stays 3-3 until Glenbard goes on a power play with under five to play in the second. Vincent Sanson enters the zone and the puck eventually finds Gregory Shannon. He shakes off a defender and goes glove side to beat Lee. Glenbard has their first lead of the game. So naturally, the Warriors tied the game up before the intermission. Cade Kenyon feeds Colin Wilder knocking on the doorstep to send this game to the third period tied at four. Wabonzi flashes the red light less than a minute into the third. Zach Pierce with the saucer pass to Michael Alberts in front of the net. Dub V goes up 5-4, but there is plenty of hockey to be played. A minute later, Enrico Caruso wins a board battle for the puck and heads in on the attack. Then tries dumping the puck in, but it catches Alex Lee off guard and trickles into the back of the net. And just like that, we have a 5-5 hockey game. Midway through the period, Caruso is hooked while on a breakaway, and that means we have a penalty shot. And Caruso goes in fast with a little forehand, backhand, and beats Alex Lee. Glenbard takes a 6-5 lead. Shortly after, Vincent Sanson steals the puck from Dane Dreyfus and sends it to Josh Wees for the goal. That one puts this game away. Up next for Wabonzi is OPRF in their final game of round robin play. I think we just wanted to play simple hockey, so I'll move the puck, get it deep, um, and get on their guys. Uh, we got a good couple goals there. By moving the puck, Schubert found the open uh, ice, and he was able to bury his chance. I was getting hacked, you know, coming from the red line, I took the puck from them. They just weren't as quick as me, I guess. And, uh, you know, I almost scored for my knees, which I almost would have enjoyed that more, you know. But, uh, you know, he took me down, shot over the puck. So I'm going in on the breakaway. And, uh, I, I always like to go forehand, backhand. It's pretty much my move. I've missed about uh, five times this year on that, but it, uh, it actually worked this time. So it's just luck of the draw, I guess. Honestly, I thought that we dumped the puck well. We played hard and um, unfortunately just didn't get the win. I think they just started to shoot everything and they started to outwork us and they started winning most of the battles. I think we just backed up too much. We tried to play too defensive. We got to stay aggressive and stay on them. Uh, not give them as many chances as we did. They got too many chances and they capitalized and they scored. Our coach, he just told us, you know, shots on net the whole time. Uh, you know, the goal attending was, he was having a shaky game and, you know, sometimes you have a good game as a goalie, sometimes you have a bad game, but, you know, we just wanted to get shots on net and they were working, so that was just the game plan.